What time is it my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today I'm gonna show you how to install a Photoshop brush a few different ways. If you're new to Photoshop and you don't know how to install a Photoshop brush, this is a highly requested video, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. So uh, first things first, you will need brushes in order to open them in Photoshop. So I am going to open up a brush from my Pueblo kit. And if you don't know about my Pueblo kit, I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you here in a second. So I have a few different brushes here. Um, some brushes are gonna work better with the Wacom pen and tablet. And then you have some brushes that will just use the mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna open up these, uh, let's, let's open up some watercolor brushes. So you just open it by double clicking the brush. And that is going to basically tell Photoshop to open, it's going to open up a new window. Then it's gonna take you to the basic interface here. And then what you're gonna do is create a new document Sometimes if you decided to bypass this menu, um, you can and it will just open up directly. So I'm just gonna create a new document. Now I have some presets saved here and I'm just gonna choose a thousand by a thousand pixels. Um, you can change it here and here and I'm gonna leave the resolution at 300 DPI and then just press create. And that is going to create a new document, okay? So when we double click the brush, you're going to find that the brush is going to be here inside your brush panel. And in order to get to that, you're gonna to go to windows and then you can select brushes and that dialog box is gonna pop up. Now I have two screens, so it popped up on my other screen over here and I am just going to basically pop that baby in there and actually I'm going to close this because we we just want to concentrate on brushes so we have these brushes open here and you have a few settings here that you can change you can change the brush tip you can change it to the brush tip now you can turn these off and these are all the settings in the brush you can have just these little um, brush icons and then you can make them larger like say if you don't have very good eyesight, you can, you can change the size of it. Now, if you see here, this is the dimension, the size of the brush here. It's about 150 pixels. And this, you can tell that it's dynamic because it has this little painterly thing here. And you can tell that it is a dynamic color brush because it has a color added to it, okay? So we're gonna bring out our tools, windows, and then go to tool presets, sorry, um, windows, and then we're going to bring up our tools, not tool presets, I'm sorry, tools, and this is all your tools here, and you have a few different options for the brush. You have the brush tool, the pencil tool, the color replacement tool, and the mixer brush tool. The brush tool here um, is what you will mainly use um, and then when you're working with more advanced brushes, you would use these other ones, but we're gonna concentrate on just the regular brush tool. And then if you wanna change the color of your brush here, you can just come over here and you can pick any color you want. You can toggle back and forth, but the foreground is gonna be the color that's selected. Now this brush already has a color to it, but if you want to change that color, you can. You can change it to any color you want, okay? So, and then you can paint with these brushes. And these are watercolor brushes, so that is how you load brushes into Photoshop. Say you wanted to save these brushes and you wanted them to open up every single time that you come into Photoshop. Well, you can do that. Um, you can set up a workspace and then you can save that workspace. So here we go into here and you wanna click new workspace. You name it and then you wanna make sure that 
you select your keyboard shortcuts, your menus, and your toolbar, so everything here um, is saved, and you can save it like that. Well, there's another way that you can load Photoshop brushes for them to permanently load into Photoshop so they'll always be there because sometimes the workspaces don't exactly save, you know, them. But I do not recommend this because Photoshop is a memory hog. And so when you load anything into Photoshop, uh, you know, a whole bunch of bro brushes, you know, that will constantly lag the, um, the program down. So what I do is I save my brushes on an external hard drive. But let's say for instance you really wanted to load your brushes every single time because you're only going to be using those brushes and you know that for a fact. So here's what we're going to do. So you're just going to minimize Photoshop and you can do that just by clicking the little button at the top, the little minus sign. You're going to go to local disk C and and this is in uh, Windows, by the way. You're going to go to Program Files in Adobe. And then you're going to find Photoshop. Okay. And then you're going to go to, I believe it's Presets, and then Brushes. And then you can load your brushes here. However, it's going to make your, your Photoshop slower. The more brushes you load here, um, the slower it's going to be. But you can, you know add and remove these here anytime you like. You can create a shortcut to this too as well. I believe you can go to properties and well I guess it's not giving me a shortcut. See if I can make okay so you can send this to the desktop and create a shortcut of your brushes and you can load brushes on your desktop if you would like to do that. So that is how you load brushes into Photoshop. And um, I hope this answers your questions on how to load and you know um, set up your brushes in Photoshop. If you like this video, um, click and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.